Girl, we need to talk. Get your tea, get your snack. Today's a good one. I have had something really heavy on my heart and I'm gonna, I keep looking over here because I've got a little bit of notes jotted down. I wanna make sure I hit some good key points. But I've had something heavy on my heart that I really wanna share with you guys. Well, with you. However many people it hits or resonates with, um, it's really just about this was something that was meant for somebody out here to hear. This topic specifically about feminine energy is very misunderstood or misinterpreted into being a cookie cutter type of woman and I just want to hit on those points. There's just, okay, there's a negative stigma around what being a feminine woman looks like and that for one is allowing yourself to be a doormat and that is exactly the opposite of what message I'm trying to convey and what I've learned throughout this journey about feminine energy and your superpower as a woman and what it means to fully be rested in feminine energy. It's also misunderstood that it means dimming down yourself for the comfort of other men or just other people in general to make them feel a little more comfortable. Let's just disregard those for a minute and put those aside because that's absolutely not the case here when we're talking about resting in your feminine energy. What got me to this point was just my life journey. If you can relate on this level, just by clicking on this video, I'm assuming you can. It's that this world has really hardened our hearts as women and it's made us fear our own identity as women. We're living in a very sensitive time with culture. Let this be known out there that if this resonates with you, then it does. And if it doesn't, that is okay. You have the choice in your life to decide if feminine energy is something that speaks to you. But I'm gonna let you know that at one point in my life, it didn't speak to me because I was so hardened by the reality of what was painted onto me, if that makes sense. Projected traumas came to me. By putting on this hard exterior, you are influential just purely by being a woman. You have a superpower in you whether you've been able to pull it out or not. I myself had this superpower when I was younger realizing that I attracted everything that I wanted. I had an amazing wild imagination and we all did at one point when we were kids. But at one point, at some time in our life, it was destroyed. Our innocence was gone. We saw something that scared us. We saw something that made us internalize our feelings and made us say, wow, the world is such a scary place. I'm not safe. I can't have emotions and I can't wear it on my sleeve because if I do, I will be destroyed by anybody out here who wants to come and love me, help me to understand my heart and my feelings and why I might be hurt and I might not know how to express feelings or whatever your story in your case is with something that you might struggle with. For me personally, I saw men as just this scary monster like because of the th experiences that I've went through, very traumatic, that took my innocence, really did pain me and I don't want to get too much into depth about that but if you've experienced somebody who maybe you have trusted or been experienced taken advantage of, you're not that story. You're bigger than what happened to you. Don't associate what happened to you as now that means that's how you have to show up in this world is with this guard up. You know, definitely go through your healing. And I do believe in therapy. I do believe in confiding in a friend and somebody who speaks to you on a spiritual level because a lot of people, you know, might be here for you as a, a supporter, but also do keep in mind that making sure you surround yourself with people who are going to lead you into what God wants for your life, not essentially what they might project onto you what they think you should do. That is also coming from other people's trauma responses on how they say, you know, you really should handle it like this. But how does God want you to handle it? You know, essentially we are loving beings and that's just what I believe that we've just been hardened to this masculine world and it's really saved my relationship personally, intimately with friends, 
with family it's just allowed me to be able to be comfortable in my own skin without having to be apologetic i don't need to allow the frustration and anger eat me up inside to where let me tell you i used to be a woo 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 girl clap at me i'm gonna clap back <laughs> and i'm not proud of it very ashamed of the way that i've handled a lot of situations but it's because i grew up in chaos and chaos was comfortable to me and when you get so comfortable with something where we don't talk about our feelings or i see arguing i see anger i see shutting down i see essentially adults not sit there and like handle things one-on-one -on -one spiritually distract themselves by partying and all of these things where you know as a kid you witness these stuff and it's like oh that's how i should be but it's not we're not supposed to be that way I don't want to harsh on you if you are this way. I'm just saying there's so many beautiful things coming with femininity and just embracing your feminine. This is like a topic I really want to elaborate on on this channel and kind of like the tools that I use to be able to get me to overcome maybe those traumas. If that's something you want to see, go ahead and let me know. Leave a comment because I can go more into depth. I don't want this video to keep going on and I don't want to ramble any longer. I want to cover just the surface level of how this is kind of just sparked an interest in my mind and that it really did work for me and it saved my relationship. It, it's saved a lot of things. I've been able to feel like myself again. As a new mom, I've been able to find my identity again and just be happy by myself. I've had a very anxious attachment style in my relationship that I've had to learn how to let go of and just needing seeking validation from a parent or a friend and that's just coming from people pleasing and you don't have to do that anymore. I want to let you know that this is a safe place. We're going to tackle this a little more and possibly get more into depth about this but this is just finding your inner girl and healing her wounds, letting her know, hugging her that she's here for you like I'm here for you destiny it's okay like I'm not gonna leave your side and you will you giving yourself that happiness will overflow into everything else in your life so if you want to see more let me know leave a comment down below don't forget to subscribe like this video and I'll see you guys in the next one